Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a digital artist and photographer and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump right into this one. We're gonna be doing kind of a surreal fantasy type picture here. I've got this picture of hands and I'm also going to get a picture of some space. These are all taken off of uh, unsplash.com and so this is this is a great resource uh, if you want some images to practice with. But I'm just gonna take this picture of space and put it right on top of this image. Make sure it's the right size. And uh, I'm gonna do a couple things with this. The first thing I'm gonna do is change my blend mode to hue. And so what that's gonna do, it's gonna make them nice and uh, these hands a lot cooler. Uh, and then I'm going to do another layer just like it, Control J. So I have the same uh, space layer again, and I'm gonna change this to overlay. And uh, so that looks pretty cool. We have some space hands right here. And um, we do. I do notice that it is affecting the background a little bit because this background is not completely black. So what I'm gonna do right here is do a selective color, change my, uh, change my blacks to a little bit darker, just like that. And it's still not quite dark enough up here. So I'm just gonna paint some black right in here. There we go. So now we have a nice black background. And when we do that, we don't have these stars going all over the background. Um, because when you do the overlay and it overlay on top of a black layer doesn't really do anything. All right, so that's what we want with these hands. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a picture of the earth. So again, go to unsplash.com. These are great places to find uh, pictures like of the earth. In this example, I'm just gonna get a circle actually Let's just do a quick select tool here and select this earth just like that. Control C on your keyboard, Control V, paste it right there. And I'm gonna bring it right in here. And what we're gonna do, this is a surreal image. This doesn't necessarily have to look uh, realistic but uh, or believable, I guess. But let's go ahead and just change uh, this earth to like a glowing earth. So I'm gonna do a color balance on it just to make it look a little bit more like the scene, like this purple and blue. So I'm just gonna add some blues to it, maybe add some purples to it, uh, just to make it look a little bit more cooler in nature. Okay, so that's good right there. Then I'm going to do another um, layer on top of that, and I'm just gonna paint some glows. So I'm just gonna paint some white glows right on the edge of this thing, just some bright, white colors going right on the edge, kind of imagining like these stars on the hands are glowing and they're kind of uh, interacting with this earth. So something kind of like that. All right, so there's your, your white. I'm gonna tone it down just a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna get some of these dark colors and just kind of paint like furthest away from the stars. I kind of like that. Okay, just like that. I'm just making a glowing ball. That's essentially all that's going on there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another layer on top of everything. I'm gonna get one of these nice little blue colors that are that's already in the scene and I'm just gonna paint it right over top of this earth, completely over top of the earth. And let's change that blend mode to screen like that. Looking good. Now, Let's do a color dodge group. So I'm gonna make a new group, change that group uh, to color dodge and put a, um, put a layer inside of it. And again, I'm gonna take one of these blue colors or you can even take a purple color if you want to and just kind of paint like around uh, where the earth is at. So like I'm painting like these edges that are like interacting with uh, these stars that are on the hands. That's pretty much all that's going on here. Just like that. Nice bright colors right around the uh, the edge of this earth, just to make it look kind of interesting here. Kind of like that. All right, let's go back and make another glow. I'm gonna do like a little purple pinkish glow here right underneath our our glows. There we go, kind of like this. So essentially just painting pink and purple right underneath our big glow layer here. So just something like this. And what if we change it to screen? Ooh, screen is really bright. Let's not change it to screen. Let's just leave it like that. 
And uh, we could do another layer on top of it and change it to screen and just not do too much of it. Maybe that would work as well. Okay, I think that looks okay. Just don't just don't overdo it. So let me kind of recap what I've done so far because I know I kind of went through that really quick. Um, essentially, all I did was I added uh, some blue on top of it. You see this blue and changed it to screen. And then I added some glows on top of it using the Color Dodge uh, glow uh, group right here. So I added some bright glows here. But then underneath this group, I wanted to add some other colors. So we added some pink. And then we added a little bit of pink with a screen blend mode. And that's pretty much what you get right there. So you're adding these pinks on top of this blue star layer. The last thing I'm going to do before we're done is I'm going to put both of these star layers uh, into a group. So all of the star effects are in that group. And then I'm going to get a uh, layer mask on that. And I'm going to get a textured brush, just like a texture brush. You can download these all over the Internet, just a textured brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint black on this layer. And what that's going to do is it's going to remove these stars uh, from uh, the hand. And I'm going to kind of make it look like it was being painted on. So I'm just kind of painting out some of these uh, star effects here on the hands. I'm going to do it like on the fingertips as well. So like right here on the fingertips, imagine like if you had all these stars on your hands, but you kept picking stuff up and like the, the fingertips is where all the paint and all the stuff was like wearing off. Uh, so just using the textured brush, you know, some kind of uh, brush that's got uh, different uh, uh, details on it and just kind of painting off bits and pieces of this. So it looks like it, it looks like it was actually painted on uh, this person's hands. OK, so this is before and after with that layer mask, just painting them off and on just to see what it looks like. Uh, but guys, that's really quick. That's in just like five or six minutes. We just created a really surreal type of picture using uh, pictures of hands, stars and an earth and just uh, doing some glows and other effects. And uh, that's all I've got for today. I hope that you enjoyed this one. I hope that you're able to take these tools and techniques and make something creative and surreal on your own. Uh, but today is uh, just another day and we'll have a brand new Photoshop tutorial tomorrow. So be sure to uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we will see you tomorrow morning for the next installment in this tutorial series. Thanks, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.